As traffic continues to grow through North Alabama, city leaders in Fort Payne say they're hoping to get federal money to help. So that money would be for a project to help prevent truck crashes in an area called Joe's Truck Stop and build an overpass that would help growing traffic. News 19's Deidre Briscoe has more. At their meeting Tuesday, the city council talked about allocating up to $26 million to help fix the area from 5th to Wallace Avenue on Highway 35. They say Congressman Robert Adderholt is requesting a million dollars for a feasibility study on the multi-phase project, and Senator Katie Britt asks for $25 million to fund fixes in the Joe's truck stop area and build a railroad overpass. Mayor Brian Boy says if everything works out, it would make downtown Fort Payne more of a destination place. You're, you're fixing Joe's truck stop. You're fixing the train overpass issue. We've got a, an alternate route over the train tracks. Then that takes all your truck traffic off of downtown and you can make downtown more of a destination place, more of a walkable community. The road is owned by the state, who has recently announced their plans to build an arrestor bed to stop trucks from overturning at Joe's truck stop. But the son of Joe, who built the truck stop, says he's lost the house he grew up in because trucks are simply going too fast to be stopped. In 2012, there was a truck come off the mountain, went all the way to the far side of the highway, cut across the branch, circle the wall and run halfway through the house. Now one neighbor says if an overpass truly comes to town, she thinks it will fix all the traffic woes. I think an overpass would fix it. Absolutely. I think that they need an overpass. It's not safe. We can't get not being able to get to the, the northwest side of town for services, uh, you know, your residents, services, you know, other businesses being shut off from half the town is is horrible. It's it's uh, it's more than an inconvenience because like I said before, there could be a safety issue. Reporting in Fort Payne, Deidre Briscoe, News 19. The city says while it's being completed by the state by, uh, as a step forward, they say it's a Band-Aid issue and they're hoping this funding will be a more permanent solution.